You have to eliminate the attributes of a entrepreneur, otherwise your business is going to fail. Today we're gonna to talk about the six deadly signs of a entrepreneur. So what's going on guys? This is Josiah, your success strategist, and today I'm gonna to show you the difference between all of the entrepreneurs that have gone to the entrepreneurial cemetery versus those that succeeded in business. What separates people that talk about business versus the people that are actually effective in building one? Make sure that you subscribe to this channel and also check out the escape plan that I give to you on how to transition out of your nine to five into your very own business. The first sign of a entrepreneur, entrepreneur meaning you want to be a business owner, and you talk a good deal about it. You know, everybody's want to be the next Bill Gates, <laughs> but very few people ever move the needle to actually being able to have their own business that supports them from day to day. And the first sign of a entrepreneur that doesn't get successful in business is because they're filled with ideas. This person is all over the place every single day with a different idea. I work with so many people over the years that have come up to me and said, Hey, is I, you know, I want to, you know, have my own restaurant. And then two weeks later, they'll be like, Hey, Yaziah, I want to have my own daycare facility. Hey, Yaziah. I want to be able to have a comic book. I want to be able to do a movie. I want to be able to just walk on water. Every other day, there's a different idea. Ideas don't equal business. Ideas don't equal success. In fact, one of the things that I've always said is, ideas are the lazy man's way of staying relevant. Because a true entrepreneur doesn't pride himself on their ideas, they pride themselves on the results that came from their execution. Take one idea and go to the moon with it. It's as simple as that. If you wanna know how to be successful in business, take one idea and be willing to stick with it over the next 20 years. Let's go to the second thing. A lot of entrepreneurs never take forward steps because they're spending so much time in their head that there's no time to actually take action. You know, there's always these different questions that a lot of entrepreneurs have. Okay, well, should I do this? Should I start up a business? Or, you know, should I do a side hustle? Should I, you know, have a website? Or should I get going on social media? Should I be on Instagram? Or should I be getting going on Facebook? Just start doing something. When you find yourself in analysis paralysis, every one obstacle becomes a showstopper for your progress. And I would rather that you move forward, even in slow steps, than to stand still doing nothing. Every major business around the world is constantly moving in some direction. They don't have all the answers in front of them, but they understand that if they just stand still and they don't put their all towards growing and being in forward motion every single day, their stalling is a guaranteed way to make sure that they fail, that they're dead in the water because guess what? Your competitor is always working. Your competitor is always learning. They're always growing. They're always trying new things and they're testing new things. And the only way that you can get ahead is if you do the exact same thing. Always be willing to press forward. Never allow yourself to be stopped by any one question, any one doubt, any one concern. All business is solving problems. And nobody has all the answers. We figure it out as we go. The number three reason that so many entrepreneurs do not become successful in business is because they focus on vanity metrics rather than real results. 
a lot of people have stopped me over the years and have been like, hey, Uzziah, you know what, man? Your website needs to be this much better. It needs this new shiny feature. Man, you know what? When you speak on these videos, these videos aren't really going to go that far because you don't have the shiny lapel on that's made out of gold trims. The difference between a entrepreneur and an entrepreneur is a entrepreneur they wait for perfection. So they don't start a business until they have the perfect logo, the perfect website, the perfect video, the perfect sales funnel, which in actuality means they don't start a business because <laughs> you never get perfection on day one. Or you spend so much time trying to build this fancy website that you have not focused on actually monetizing from that platform. What do entrepreneurs do instead? See, entrepreneurs, entrepre real entrepreneurs, the ones that are making money and going out and you see their business and year after year you're seeing constant growth. They are not ashamed to start at small beginnings because they know that the minute that they make any sign of progress, they're going to take that tiny success and they're going to multiply it day by day and step by step. They're going to take one dollar that they might have gotten from their very first customer and they will multiply it because they're going to reinvest it into their business. But the entrepreneur is so busy trying to have all the shiny bells and whistles that they never get started and they never make sales. This is the key. If you look at every major business in America, go to Amazon.com. Have you ever seen Amazon.com uh, say, our website is down right now. We want to have a much prettier website and a much shinier website, and we're not content until we have a million followers on every platform, so our website is down until that happens. No. Every year, Amazon never announces the maintenance on their website because it's about continuous improvement. See, you don't start off being your best, but you get to your best by training to be the best every single day, okay? And so don't focus on things like, you know, do you have the catchiest business name? Do you have a, a, a business card that's made out of steel? Do you have an Instagram following that's about to put Kim Kardashians to shame? Do you have professional photographers following you around every day to do social media for you like paparazzi? Don't focus on the vanity metrics. Focus on, do you have a product that sells? Is there a marketplace that's big enough for the product that you're trying to deliver? Do you have an email list that's bringing you subscribers day by day? These are top focus metrics that you really need to understand. Do you have sales? Do you have prospects? What is the satisfaction quality rating of the product that you're delivering to the marketplace? And do you have an effective job of being able to collect sales from customers after they're paying you? These are some of the more important metrics that you need to focus on, not, you know, how many followers do I have? Also, a lot of people are extremely casual in business. I call this coffee talk successful. You ever met a person that likes to go to like these happy hour events and mixers and they like to act like they're the big dog in the room and talk about this and talk about that, but you find out it's just nothing but a pile of smoke. <laughs> One big puff of smoke. They talk about it, but they're not really living it. A lot of people just want to be casually successful. What I mean is this. Everybody wants to be successful. And everybody can talk about their great plan on how they're going to be successful. Everybody has the next big thing. Everybody has the next big idea. But does your work ethic match the ambitions that you have? See, your ambitions might be way up here, but your work ethic, your organization, your attention to detail, your focus, 
what you're willing to sacrifice, your fortitude, all of those things could be down here. And if you're not matched up where you need to be, you're never going to see that dream realized. You've got to go all in. If you want to be successful in business, you got to be willing to go all in. There's no such thing as a casual successful entrepreneur. Even if people are trying to sell you that dream online, they're putting in a lot of work behind the scenes, okay? This is almost the last part. Salesmen rather than businessmen. A lot of people that start up businesses, they're not really trying to build a real business behind what they're offering. They're simply just trying to take a product, put it in front of you, and hope that you buy it. If you're going to be an entrepreneur, that means you have to focus on multiple areas. You've got to focus on marketing. You've got to focus on operations. You've got to focus on building a staff, right? You've got to focus on all of these different areas. What about your accounting? All of these different functional areas play a large part in how successfully your business grows by the day. But I see so many entrepreneurs that just say, hey, you know, well, I know how to make pens. So all I'm gonna do is make my pen, put it in front of you and hope that you get it. That's a salesman. <laughs> you just got something that you wanna sell, that's not a business. A business is able to successfully function whether or not that you're on the scene because you've built an empire behind your efforts. Last but not least, most entrepreneurs are not willing to learn anything, not on the level that they need in order to take their business to the next level. Here's the truth about all successful entrepreneurs. They are learning machines. They're always reading the newspapers. They're always reading books. They're always trying to take new courses and get enrolled with new trainings to figure out the answers to the things that they don't know in their business. I guarantee you, no matter how good you are at any select craft, there is a business side of things that you do not understand. You could be the best a wood maker in the world. But if you don't know how to be able to take that wood and start distributing it to customers, you're going to have real problems in ever having a successful business. So you always need to dedicate yourself to learning. The things that you don't know, you got to be interested in figuring it out. All right. But a entrepreneur just wants to talk a good one, but it's really not about that life of learning their game. You have to learn your game. You have to learn your craft. You have to learn how to take your craft and turn it into a business that's going to make you successful. And last but not least, if you're going through these six different challenges, I want you to click the link below because I'm going to show you how to successfully grow a sustainable business that will allow you to in time transition out of your nine to five so that way you can do your business from home, you can travel the world and make money. I wanna show you really how to be able to start up a business step by step, okay? I can lead you to the water, but I can't make you drink. I can't promise you anything, but I'm gonna give you all of the steps on how to transition out of your nine to five job so that way you can be a successful business owner full time and be your own boss and have your own independence. If that's you, I want you to go to the link in the bio now. I'm going to put a card up on the screen so that way you can get it. Make sure that you get into this thing because I'm illustrating all of the steps step by step. All right. These are the six deadly signs. Don't let this be you. Leave me a comment and let me know the top thing that you're guilty of in being a entrepreneur that wants to be an entrepreneur. I'll see you on the next episode.